ranked number two in their world rankings coming into the Olympics. Australia was ranked one, and they actually met in the quarterfinal round two days ago with Netherlands winning 4 nothing. It's a very historically dominant Australia team. Australia struggled both on the men's and women's side in Rio. A little bit disappointing for them. Absolutely, and they have such a strong legacy of, of this sport. Similar, actually, to the Netherlands a little bit, and for them to come in and both bow out in the quarterfinals was surprising. It stops a streak for Australia on the men's side. They have medaled in six straight Olympics. One gold, one silver, and four bronze. Not going to happen this time in Rio. That's John John Doman, number seven for Belgium and White. The player of the year in Belgium last year. Interesting too, these tournaments are generally, the uh, umpires will speak English to each other, which is helpful for us as broadcasters. Uh, but these two, the Netherlands, they speak Dutch, and actually in Belgium, one of their national languages in Dutch is Dutch. So unlike other countries, they all also speak a lot of English as well, but they can talk to each other out there. We heard them speaking before, and the Netherlands was actually speaking English in their team huddle before the game. I was just going to say, in their pregame speech, the Netherlands getting fired up. We can hear every word of it. We know exactly what they were saying. Belgium, and they're looking to knock off one of the top teams in the world and advance to the gold medal match with a win here tonight. Ball just nets outside the circle and a fight for it there with Thomas Briels for Belgium. And the Netherlands is going to get this one on a free hit coming out. It's coming against Mick Vanderbeerden, who we've spoken at number 30. It shows how these, these field line players have to cover such a big surface, 100 yards by 60 yards. Uh, ten players plus a goalkeeper on the field, but the forwards are coming back and the defense are jumping in, so they really cover a lot of space. Ball gets stumped in inside the circle with a foul on Belgium and the Netherlands with a free hit coming out. Still no score with 5.25 to play in the first quarter. to play first quarter Netherlands in Belgium semi-finals winner to the gold medal match Netherlands in orange Belgium in white Mike Corey alongside two-time Olympian and gold medalist AJ Malesko looking to see who will play Argentina for the gold medal that's in two days <laughs> Netherlands possession just outside the scoring circle Excellent defensive play by Belgium to knock that one out and take it the other way. Both teams with a full field press going on, it seems like, AJ, from the start of this match. Trying to get the early lead, put the, their opponents on their back heels, and neither of them have had any good chances no. of, except that one corner that the Netherlands had, but otherwise it's been a lot of midfield play just inside that 25-yard line and not inside the circle a whole lot. Kept in on the sideline by the Owen. Cross it front, taken out. You hear all the noise that the Netherlands fans make at every field hockey match. Look at these sea of orange directly across the field that come out in full force to see if their country can move on to the gold medal match. See, the Netherlands is falling away a little bit right here, just allowing Belgium to play catch their half the field, seeing how they're going to attack. 15-minute running quarters, four quarters in field hockey. Clock only stops for penalty corners, penalty strokes, injuries after a goal briefly, and on video referrals. They had the one penalty corner opportunity for the Netherlands, but Belgium's goalkeeper Vincent Van Asch with the save, and we are still at 0-0 with three minutes to play in the first quarter. Belgium 
trying to work it inside the story circle. Under three minutes to play the first, and the shot goes off the side of the net that time by Sebastian Tafier. Hit two goals against India in the quarters, and watch him elude those two defenders. He comes back, uses his little reverse stick to make some space for himself to get off the, a big shot there, just misses on the short side. Dakier second on the team in scoring throughout the games in Rio with three goals. Tangi Kosi, he's wearing number 32 in white, has four for them. Sixth circle penetration for the Netherlands, but it was short-lived as Belgium gets it out and starts it the other way. The Netherlands win this match to move on against Argentina for the gold medal. We'll see. Belgium, though, has other ideas. Probably the best they have in a long, long time. A talented young group with just 14 seconds to play in the first quarter. They haven't had as many offensive chances, though, as the Netherlands have in this first quarter. And that's going to be the end of one. Belgium, Netherlands, semifinals, no score, second quarter after this. The games of the 31st Olympiad on the networks of NBC Universal are brought to you by Coca-Cola. Open a Coke and enjoy the games. By the all-new versatile Honda Ridgeline. By Kellogg's, proud sponsor of the start. And by Sydney.